Hello Commanders, I'm Commander Gremlin Spotter and today we're going to talk about the Elite Dangerous Star Map. I thought about doing a, uh, a video with all of the third party websites that I like to use to keep the game interesting for me as an explorer, but uh, decided that I would just do one at a time because I want to kind of dive into each one of them with a little bit of with a little bit of depth rather than just glaze over them. So um, I know more about some than others. This one, so-so. Uh, but uh, this should be a shorter video than I'm used to doing. Uh, mainly because this site's designed more for PC players. PC players get a lot more out of it because a lot of the functions on this uh, particular site uh, work better for PC players because they can they can end up um, merging all of their stuff with this website. On Xbox, which is what I play on, we cannot do that. So my use of this is fairly limited, seeing how I don't have the ability to... Uh, to sync all my stuff in so but I'll give you a quick overview um, I don't really I've never really used these so I'm pretty sure you just put a system in I, well I have one time but it's it's kind of confusing to me I'm not sure exactly you put the system in that you're looking for and I don't know let's let's try it out real quick uh, where you're at and a system name I, you know I don't know <laughs> maximum radius it just shows you how far from Seoul certain systems are and I don't I don't particularly use this um, like I said this I mainly use this for the galactic mapping um, I also typically um, I use the codex when I'm when I'm trying to go somewhere I'll get on the codex I'll do it on here even though you can do it from your ship I'll do it on here because typically when I'm planning an expedition or something I can just click here if I know my expedition is going to go through this area and um, I want to know what kind of organic structures or what kind of geology type things I'm going to find like um, geysers or you know what kind of organic stuff am I going to find here such as you know bark mounds Ooh, see I've never seen this real mollusks that's pretty neat sinuous tubers I haven't seen any of these before so if I was going through this area I'd want to know where these are so you can click on it it'll tell you what system it is and I would make sure to put that system I'd be sure to put this system in my route somewhere so that I hit it and I could see that. Again, like I said, the uh, the galactic mapping is what I what I mainly use it for. And my system is running a little slow today, so. All right, so basically this is the galaxy map, and the way I use this is this has a a uh, um, basically like a little tab you can click over here and hit certain things, so. If you want to know where all the deep space outposts are, uh, this is it right here. And uh, you can, you know, like I said, we're way down here. This is basically Seoul. If uh, when I'm heading out to Colonia, there's a string of these going out to Colonia, so you can you can jump on them and and uh, use them as save spots, I guess, in case uh, in case you're getting worried that uh, something might happen. This one's just outside of uh, Sagittarius A. This is the this is the latest and greatest one. So <clears throat> I know a lot of griefers like to sit at Sagittarius A and kill explorers and laugh because they'd have to go all the way back to wherever it was that they saved last. But uh, with this here, I, I have a feeling that'll start going away because you're only like two jumps away when you're here. Uh, but clicking on it will give you an idea. It'll give you a little bit of, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, background on it. And tell you a little bit about uh, the different stuff on it. So, as you can see there, again, this thing's running fairly slow. So, but basically, this is a. Uh, it's just a bunch of things you can turn on to find out, like where you, where all the nebulas are in the game. You can turn them off, and then you can come over to find pulsars. Now, this is not every pulsar in the game, so don't get worried and go, oh my god, there's no pulsars. No, that's, that's not the case. It's just the ones that have been turned in to the group that runs this site. If you turn it into the group that runs the site, you can get your name on it as far as um, when someone clicks on this. So whoever found this particular one, when you click on it, it'll say, you know, who found it. Tells you what system it is, that kind of thing. Um, but again, I use this, if I'm going to plan an expedition out this way, I'll I'll filter in some things. I'll use these filters to, to pop in interesting things for me to see so that on my trip, um, I do I do some streaming, so I don't want to do just a long shot. 
twenty thousand light years in one session. That's just that's that's brutal, and nobody wants to watch that. So I'll use this site to find interesting things along the way, so that I can take little breaks and uh, and have fun with the the group that's watching, and and I can have fun on my trip as well. So, but uh, again, I, this is the extent I know to this particular site. Um, again, if you're on PC. This is worth really looking into if you haven't heard of it. Um, you'll get a lot of use out of this for a lot of other things. Uh, but as far as Xbox goes, um, this is all I really use it for and all I know about it. If you know more about it and there's more things for Xbox players, be sure to mention that in the comments. So I really like this site. Um, I really wish there was more we could do with it as Xbox players, but uh, maybe that'll come along in, in the future. Who knows? But uh, well, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. So I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also, uh, come check me out on Mixer. Uh, my web address will be in the for the Mixer account will be in the outro. So, uh, until next time, fly safe, commanders.